Yeah, it's your boy DJ Wolf here. Got a couple things on my mind. First thing first, um, Donald Trump recently told the audience in Ohio last week that black people are poor. What the fuck did he tell you that was any different than what you already know? Not a motherfucking thing. Really? First of all, black people are poor. Not all black people are poor. You know? Let's be honest about that. There is a number of us that are poor. Poor. In some cases, I'm going to say this. Some is by choice. Because some of y'all don't want to do shit no way. I know this from personal fact of people I know that are like that. You know? And there are others because of certain situations they put themselves in that keep them poor. You know? I also know that for a hard fact. Here's the other thing. Donald Trump basically what I don't I, well, I don't like the mug anyway I don't like this asshole anyway but what he's really saying that y'all ain't about shit you know what the hell hey, you got to lose what I got to lose <laughs> is to lose you loser cause I ain't vote for your ass no matter what you say you know I heard some people tomorrow well he got a point so I might vote for him cause he might help the black man out you know, that's the problem with us. We, we just we just simp up to every goddamn thing. I mean, just like really. And I mean, I, I talked to somebody about a problem they were having with, the, with uh, 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 their pastor borrowing a ton of money uh, to, to get a church fixed that they never got fixed. That's enough. More on that later. But what I don't understand is that we tend to roll with whatever is, you know, we can roll with. We don't really put any thought process into any goddamn thing. We don't even bother to, to, to try to, to help out, to put a viable candidate on the map. We want somebody else to do it. We sit there and wait for somebody else to take action. That is one of our biggest issues. Really? That's one of our biggest problems as a people. We always waiting for somebody else to, 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 to solve our problem. This is what everything we do. I mean, seriously, though. I'm doing a YouTube video. <laughs> I mean, we waiting on everybody else to solve our problem. And I think this is the case, too. It's, it's no different, you know. I'm like, it's, 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 it's getting ridiculous to me. It really is. It's getting really re damn ridiculous. You know. I'm just shaking my head thinking about that too. I say, like, seriously, you know, <laughs> it's like, uh, well, because there, there's a, a black, there was a black church, the entire black church, uh, some black church down South Carolina, is give, giving their full support to Donald Trump. Don't ask me why. I've yet to buy a clue on that, and. They have no real rationale behind it. Other than they, they think, oh yeah, he has a plan to help us create jobs. Yet he doesn't have a plan <laughs> to create jobs. That's the whole point. You know, Donald Trump is behind in the polls of, uh, of African American voters. He's not even that popular with uh, uh, the percentage among African American voters is very low. He's willing to say anything at this point to get the vote. He's desperate, and he know he's losing. He's losing his grip on the election. All right? But y'all, some of y'all fools, is going to sit there and go along, to get along, to think he's going to do something. He ain't going to do shit. This I know. He ain't going to do nothing. 
Donald Trump is about the purpose business of Donald Trump and nothing else. And that's a fact. Thinking he gonna do something for your ass. Y'all stupid. You think he gonna do something for you? You, you, you have to be out your fucking mind if you think Donald Trump is gonna go out there and do something for you. Really? Donald Trump is the business of Donald Trump. You know, this is the same guy. Him and his father got sued for discrimination, uh, housing, housing discrimination back in 1973. That's a known fact. Look it up. You know, you really think he's about the business of you? He's not. He never was. This dude was a flat out racist. Five people are. Yeah, he 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 won't read you. No, he's not. You don't even know what the fuck his plan's gonna be. He don't even have a plan for that. He's never he don't have any real plans at all. If you notice. He don't. He ain't been had. We just go along with anything, you know. We just, we, you know, we just, <laughs> we just wait for. Like I said again, and th this is what really irks me. Our violence as a people, we sit there and wait for somebody else to do something. Way too fucking much. That's why we never got nothing going. I mean, like jobs, okay? They bring us jobs. We get jobs. We don't. I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm gonna give you an example. And this I know would be a fact. I'm speaking. I'm not speaking out of turn. This is from personal experience. Back in the days when many African American people had jobs, when jobs were plentiful, the steel mill factories, the coal factories, the salt plants. My dad worked in one. Uh, the uh, sawmills, all the um, the manufacturing jobs. The uh, Jobs with uh, the the power plants, the car comp manufacturers, and all that were plentiful. Guess what black people was doing back then? And I know this for a whole entire fact: buying big cars. Yes, I said it. I know this from personal experience: buying big cars. Yeah, spending money like it's going out of style. Not put, I mean, not put no money away. Okay. As soon as all those jobs start going away, people start losing money. You know, and my area, because I come from the uh, from the uh, blue collar uh, side of Cleveland, right? The whole east side of Cleveland was nothing but blue collar. This I know for a fact. Lived it 21 years. And there were like restaurants, bars, and shops all around there. You know, a lot of mom and pop businesses were thriving at the time. You know, as long as the car, you know, as long as the uh, blue collar jobs were there, man, it was plentiful. Well, move up to 50 years later, they're all gone. There are some plants that have been abandoned as long as 30, maybe 35, 40 years. Still abandoned to this day. Nothing been replaced. You know? No new jobs in that, in that area, immediate area, nothing. Um, so, like I said, when the next time I go back, I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to do a whole video on it because we didn't prepare for that. We did. We talked a good game about this, that, the other, but as people, we didn't prepare for shit. We just wait for somebody else to, to, to like again, wait for somebody else. To figure it out for you. That's always been our issue. And here it is, 2016. We're still doing the same goddamn thing in 2016. This time, it happened to be a guy who don't really give a fuck about you at all. His name is Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton? I can't say much about her either, you know. <laughs> but. But like I said, we, we could have been putting some viable cans out there that we support, that we know is going to be for our best interest. But we don't because we're waiting for somebody else to do it. You know? And until we stop waiting for somebody else to, you know, to, 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 to put cans out there that's going to represent our best interest, we have to take either one evil or the other. You know? In other words,
first we just simp ourselves down to whatever's there. And that's part of the problem. As this, this DJ Wolf. You know, I, I, I ain't got much to say about that right now. I mean, you know, I'm just kind of frustrated and disgusted right now about this kind of thing, man, because it's just more of the same old, same old. I'm out.